find the t parameters of the below given two port network and uh, we can find out the t parameters of this two port network by following the equation method but i have taken this question to explain you the process of breaking down the larger two port network into small small two port networks connected in cascade and uh, we know that the t parameters matrix of the overall network is equal to the product of t parameters matrix of the individual networks connected in cascade so we will first try to break this network into small two port networks connected in cascade and we can break it like this this is our first network and we will call it network na this is our second network and we will call it network nb and you can see that network na is connected in cascade with network nb so if we can find the t parameters matrix of network na and the t parameters matrix of network nb then after multiplying t parameters matrix of na and t parameters matrix of nb we will have the t parameters matrix of the overall network which is our main task to do so first we will calculate the t parameters matrix of network na and therefore i will copy network na and then we will perform the analysis of network na let's say the input voltage is v1 the output voltage is v2 the input current is i1 the output current is i2 and uh, we will try to have the equations we have in case of t parameters and therefore we will first apply kvl in this loop we will have plus v1 plus v1 then we have minus z1 multiplied to i1 minus z1 multiplied to i1 and then we have minus v2 equal to 0 from here we can have voltage v1 equal to voltage v2 plus z1 multiplied to i1 and we can see that i1 is equal to negative of i2 current i1 is equal to negative of current i2 or we can write i1 is equal to 0 times v2 minus i2 and therefore we can replace i1 by minus i2 and hence we can write voltage v1 is equal to v2 minus z1 multiplied to i2 let's say this is equation number one and this is equation number two now when you compare equation 1 and equation 2 with the standard equations we have in case of t parameters then you will find parameter t11a is equal to 1 parameter t12a is equal to z1 parameter t21a is equal to 0 and parameter t22a is equal to plus 1 so in this way we have obtained the t parameters matrix of network na and now we will shift our focus on network nb i will copy it and then we will perform the analysis of our network nb let's say the input voltage is v1 the output voltage is v2 the input current is i1 and the output current is i2 and uh, we can find out the current in this branch the current will be equal to v2 divided by z2 v2 divided by z2 
Now when you look carefully you will find voltage V1 is equal to voltage V2. V1 is equal to V2 or we can write V1 is equal to V2 minus 0 times I2. And uh, let us say that this is our equation number 3. And uh, we can write the KCL equation at this node. We will have I1 plus I2 minus V2 over Z2 equal to 0. Or we can write current I1 is equal to plus V2 over Z2 minus I2. Let's say this is equation number 4. And when you compare equation 3 and equation 4 with the standard equations we have in case of T parameters, you will find parameter T11B is equal to 1, parameter T12B is equal to 0, parameter T21B is equal to 1 over Z2. Now moving on to the parameter T22B, we will have 1. So in this way we have obtained the T parameters matrix of network NB and now the only thing left is to multiply this matrix with this matrix and it will give us the T parameters matrix of the entire two port network. And the first element which is parameter T11 is equal to 1 multiplied to 1 plus Z1 multiplied to 1 over Z2. So we have 1 plus Z1 over Z2. Parameter T12 is equal to 1 multiplied to 0 plus Z1 multiplied to 1. This means Z1. Parameter T21 is equal to 0 multiplied to 1 plus 1 multiplied to 1 over Z2. So we have 1 over Z2. And uh, parameter T22 is equal to 0 multiplied to 0 plus 1 multiplied to 1 which means 1. So this is our answer. And now I hope you understand how you can break the two port network into smaller two port networks connected in cascade and calculate the T parameter matrix of the entire two port network. This method is very useful and now we will move on to the homework problem of this lecture. In the homework problem you are required to find out the T parameters of this two port network.